Hi everyone and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm very excited because I'm trying some things from... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Good start, isn't it? The Netherlands. I'm trying some Dutch things. That's really exciting, isn't it? More exciting for me than you though. Peanut snaps. Look at what I've done to them. Of all the things I could drop on the floor, I dropped this one. Nuts, but... Snack, but... Kark, snapper, teller, plitskopen, chulis, crop. Sorry, I tried. They're peanut cookies. They looked a lot better before I got to them. Look at what I did to them. I'm a monster. Let's see if we can get a whole one. They're very fragile, obviously. So this really isn't completely my fault. I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs> They're really tasty, they're light and thin, very strong flavour of peanut all the way through them and I think it's like a golden syrup or a honey sort of a flavour through it as well. I don't know how they make these and bake these without getting them off the tray and breaking them. I mean look, look what I did. Very tasty. I'm really enjoying this so you're just going to have to sit here and watch me eat the rest of it. Not the rest of the packet because that would be weird. Mmm. Red band frizzy flesh jizz. Just what is it? Warpret <laughs> bent. I wonder if I said that right. Probably not. Oh. So this is what they look like. Yum, don't they look good? Let's give them a good whiff. They smell like they're sour, but we will see. These are the different colours they come in. I don't know which one I should try. What one looks more tempting to you? They're a little bit sour. They're quite hard to chew on. This is a squash thing where I squash it in front of the camera and you have no idea on what this is doing. But they have a nice flavour to them. I'd definitely get these again, I think. Or would I? I'll try another flavour because sometimes you can't judge by just trying one. Mmm. Hey, it's sour. <laughs> Overall, I think these are quite nice. They are quite sour. Zuhut pastels. Is that how you say it? Zuhut? Three rollin'. I could only get these in a three rollin' pack or three roll pack. Oh gosh, look at me. I'm already speaking Dutch. I'm so clever. There they are. I like the packaging. It looks very classy. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, there goes one. <laughs> Oh, why am I even surprised anymore, really? You're not surprised, are you? So this is what they look like. They don't look particularly appealing. They kind of look like tablets to me. Oh, wow, they smell interesting. It's got a pretty design on the front of it. Not that that matters, I'm just gonna eat it. Oh wow. Oh. These are so strange. They're like a sort of a non-sweet licorice sort of flavor to them. I actually don't mind them. They're really weird. I don't think everyone would like these, but I think they're interesting. We don't have anything like this in Australia. This is really weird, really bizarre, but I'm really into it. Katja, it's got a cute little picture of a cat on it. Mini Ape Copen. Met nut nutted like kle en smackstoffen. Is that right? <laughs> it's probably not right, is it? Sorry. Ooh. It is an ape. What is that smell? You know what? I went to the dentist last week and this is the smell I smelt. Is that proper English? I'm pretty sure that's the smell I smelt. <laughs> So they come in three different flavours. There's a pink one, a yellow one, and like a coffee brownish sort of, I don't know what colour you call that, beige? Hmm. They're really nice. They're like a milky jelly lolly or candy. In Australia we call it lollies, in America they call it candy, and in UK I think you call it sweets. But anyway, these apes are good. 
yellow. Now being yellow and this being an ape's head, I'm hoping that this is going to be banana because it really should be, shouldn't it? Is that banana? A little bit. I don't know. It hasn't got a really strong banana flavour to it. Drop gums in three smackin'. Smackin' flavour? I like that word, smackin'. What smackin' you eating? Juvis? Duvis? A uh, dupus? Doobity doop doop doopus. Juvis? Divis? Far out. Jeez, ow, I'm having a heart attack over that name. Burrell? Burrell Nudges? Is that right? Sorry. Cocktail. I think they're peanuts covered in some sort of stuff. Let's have a look at them. Note to self, keep scissors in this room. Ooh. Whoops. Sugar. We have to find that later. Oh, yum. Mmm. They're savoury covered nuts and the outside of it's really crispy, it's got a lovely coating on it. Sort of tastes a little bit like paprika and onion. Really good. Wow. Oh. I don't know if these come in other flavours but these ones are really good. This next product looks really scary. I found an online Dutch shop here in Australia and they gave me a few of these, lucky me. Here it is. I mean what is this? What is this? Oh. Really? Lemco. It's got a chicken on the front of it, so I should... Is that a chicken? Maybe that's not a chicken. That's not a chicken. What is that? Maybe it's some kind of a parrot. Anyway, look at that. Does that look appealing? Not really, but let's try it. Trying to smell it through the packaging, it does not work. What if it's parrot flavoured? Look at that. That is not good looking. Sorry, it's not good looking at all. It looks like someone's gotten a poo and stuck it on a stick. I'm sorry, but it does. We have to be honest with these things, all right? Because it might taste amazing, but what it looks like is another thing completely. If someone said, here, have one of these, you'd probably go, no. <laughs> I don't want that. I keep attempting to do it and then I don't. I don't know why I'm scared of it. It's a cute little logo on the front of it, so it's probably something that kids love. It's probably going to be good, right? What is this? I don't understand. Ugh. Sorry about that weird reaction then. I have a thing about the sticks on lollipops and feeling them against my mouth. I, I don't like the feeling of it. I don't know why, I just don't like it. I think that's just me <laughs> though. You know that paper feeling? <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to get past that so I can actually taste the lollipop but every now and then it hits my lip and I, I'm not enjoying that. What is this? I'm not entirely sure of what this is but what it tastes like to me is some really, really mild form of licorice. What is this? <gasps> Look at that, I've got bite marks in it because I'm just trying to get it off the stick. Oh, I hate the stick on these so much, it just gives me such a yucky feeling. Oh. This is okay, I wouldn't really want to go back for another one even though I've got four of them or something. Oh gosh. It's a very strange taste, I suppose you get used to it. It's strange because it kind of looks like it's a medicated thing of some kind. Oh, what if it is? What if I'm having cough medicine on a stick or something? Oh, far out, what if I am? <laughs> I didn't even think about that, I probably am. Oh my God, there is evil, evil lurking within this thing. <gasps> is this some kind of medicine in the middle of this? I've somehow gotten something medicated, haven't I? There is. Something in the middle of this, which I cannot describe. It's evil. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what is in this? On the outside, it's, you know, reasonably sweet. And then you get into the inside and there's like this bitter sort of weird taste that comes from within. If they're trying to hide medicine inside a sweet tasting lollipop, I would say that's a fail. Of all the things for me to finish up the taste test on, I picked this one because I thought this looked really innocent. Look at it. 
It's got a cartoon character on the front of it. So it looks like poo tastes like poison. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye. And please support me by giving this thumbs up a video of far out.